Hey everybody, this is Russ Money, and today, well, we're not going to be playing Amnesia. We're going to be playing some Nepsis. Now, Nepsis is made by Nicholas Homicide 13 Restifo. Uh, this is his first uh, attempt at a uh, custom story, and uh, boasts that it has most maps, and uh, from what he says, over 3,000 lines of code, which I can believe that. It, amnesia stories do get pretty high up there. Description, Amnesia didn't have his description, and neither does his story. Remember to play in the dark with headphones. Enjoy. Okay, I'm going to flip the switch. Now we are playing in the dark. And, of course, playing with headphones. Check the volume. Yep, blasting. Yeah. Highest volume my uh, headphones can go. It's probably why sometimes you can uh, hear the background noise from my recording on my mic of the game. Mm. Waking up. Good morning, sunshine. I left you a note. What does the note say? Oil well. Diary entry 1. November 12th, 1772. The days have been getting shorter and colder as of late, and I think it is time to switch over to the winter attire. Tomorrow I shall ask Jonah to have my bed riffed with thicker sheets and my wardrobe rearranged to suit the season. I am very lucky to have found such a nice place to stay since my old home in Aldenburg burned down. Ald Aldbro. Aldbro. Oh. Of course you have to check everything out. I mean how you play amnesia. You explore things and you check them out. And get creeped out along the way. While solving some puzzles. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Old acquaintance. Someone claiming to be an old acquaintance of yours appeared late last night and asked to see you. I explained that he that you had already retired for the evening, but he was very eager eager to meet with you and asked to stay the night. I gave him lodging and told him you would join him downstairs for breakfast in the morning. He had look an ill look to about him and did not offer his name. It was rather queer. Please tell me about your meeting after he's gone. I'm most curious. Your landlord, Jonah. So guessing we're staying in a castle that we pay rent to Mr. Jonah about. And some guy was all like, hey, I'm here to meet with me, the character. I don't know my name. Do we have a name? I'll check it out later, but I don't know. So now let's see. Oh. Nice, uh, nice silhouettes. Hmm. Very dark. Let's go check it out. Oh, good. Turn it locked. Good. This is. The stairs don't look finished here. And better, better go check it out anyway, right? What do we got here? I have no idea what that is. I'll check it out later. When I find my lantern. If it is prudent. It's locked as well. Alright. Mr. Tinderbox. Oh. Whoa, what's going on? Why did I look up so suddenly? And now the brute is gone and on fire. Just, there we go. All is right. Wonder if that was the uh, visitor. Was that the visitor with the ill look upon him? Oh, wait, where are we going? I have no idea where we're at. We just went downstairs. And oh, really? Hmm. What happened in here? That just happened. Hunger. Unfortunately, while waiting for you, I could no longer contain my hunger, and therefore I've already eaten. Please take the time and eat, and when you are done, come and find me. I have something very remarkable to show you. 
who else but your old friend, Dr. Queasley. Make breakfast. Alright. I can only assume if this is going to be like amnesia already. I, I have amnesia. And I have no idea what's going on. Maybe this is just how normal things go around here. Land of Nepsis. Oh, good. Let me guess. Yeah, firmly locked. And some orange juice here. Let's see, oh, meat cleaver. I can cut some bread. I don't know what we got here in shopping list. Recipe. For a delicious feast, find one of the following ingredients and cook them over over the flame. Human arm, leg, and body. I'm guessing it means torso. This recipe has been passed down through generations since the establishment of the Kes castle, when its inhabitants would eat the remainders of their foes in order to celebrate a military victory. It is a time to honor tradition and often prepared for special occasions and celebrations. Uh, we, we do have a friend that has come, so we must... Make a celebration? Celebratory... Uh, it's not a human head, that's a, that's a dog head. Did not ask for canine meat. Let's see what we got going here. Rotten apples in that one. Um. <laughs> Alright. Flung so hard and busted me in my knuckle. Not too cool what we got. Is that the hand? Oh. Oops. Come back here. Torso. Torso? No torso. There's blood behind here. Torso? Torso. Let us make a fine meal. A delicious meal. Oh, I've created the wrong kind of meal. Oh, I'm... What is happening? I hear lots of gr oh god. Oh sweet Jesus, what's going on? Oh, I see breaking things. <laughs> oh, where am I going? That's locked. Oh, what about you? Oh no. No, no, no. I don't know if I should keep these open or keep closing them behind. Oh gee Jesus. They know where I'm at. I uh, know. You? Oh. Uh. I don't want to go back this way. That's locked. You? No, you're locked. You're locked. You're open. Oh, Jesus. Where is it coming from? Oh, that's too close for comfort. The shaking. Uh, I'm having... I'm passing out. Jesus Christ. Okay, what the f what was going on? I did not like that whatsoever. That, that gave me the heebie-jeebies. That is probably one of the neatest bets, like chase scenes I've seen, had seen in a long time. I'm stammering for words. I have no clue like what to say. And now we're somewhere peaceful. The world beyond space-time lies behind the die die. I pulled down the main introduced portal induced portal the portal to the heart and soul and the person's very being his fleshy exterior <laughs> exterior peeled away to reveal the inner spirit though this world your inner self meets and interacts with the other forms of energy which also na navigate the great expanse of life and the interaction are projected interactions are projected onto the organic bound structure which is your conscious Hmm. What are you? You're like the water monster, but you're a dirt monster. Okay, I'm being pushed. Can't walk in certain ways sometimes, I don't know. Still following me? Alright. Hmm. Do 
right here. The water turns peacefully in patterns that are somehow familiar and comforting. Hmm. What's happening now? Once a connection has been established with another consciousness, that connection grows and maintains itself within the core of the host being. It is from within this core, and the interaction between those two beings are mediated. Check it out. Nothing. Pillar checked out complete. Hmm. Is there something I have to do with you? Hey, you wanna go check out this this fountain? Come on. Come on, it's really uh, the water. It peaceful churns of water, and it's comforting and familiar somehow. Come on. Ah, okay. The connection made in this fashion shape, in this fashion shape and purpose the host body. Those connections circulate and mingle at the concentrated focal point, and eventually integrate themselves into the host being to such an extent that it is impossible to make a distinct between the two. Distinction between the two. Hmm. Is there another? Another ground buddy that wants to follow? Ground buddy. I'm gonna find you. peacefully. Where are you, dirt buddy? I just want to hang out. Go hang out by the fountain. Maybe there's something I need to pick up. Not looking likely. Oh, I heard him. Ground buddy, how you been? Come on, come on, buddy. It's the only rule in amnesia. If it doesn't hurt you, it's your friend. I mean, even Agrippa, if you got too close to him, he would stab you. Well, that wasn't his fault, though. He didn't put those spikes there. It was Alexander. And then you cut off his head. That's an amnesia friend. Come on, get up these waters. Normally, connections that are established within a host begin, being, <laughs> being are first filtered to make sure that they are compatible with the pool of energy that has accumulated previously. Children are more impressionable and vulnerable to exposure because of the lack of accumulated character, while the elderly take shelter in their previous experience. Says, no. However, within the inner world, Constructed uh, by the Dithi Letral Tapmi? 
believe that's DMT if I'm not wrong. It is possible to pour a foreign consciousness directly into an already existing collection of experiences. Therefore, by passing natural precautions allowing one to shape themselves or another in a very specific fashion. Hmm. It's a lot of talk about impression. I think we're... Oh, we're going to Nightmare Land. I'm sorry, I, had, I was twirling. It's twirling. Huh. So now we're back. After having a nap by the door. Impatience, I told Jonah to tell you where I was, so hopefully you shall be seeing this for soon. While I was waiting for you, I decided to begin searching through the chemistry books here. Perhaps I shall even find a book written by one of our old professors. But you know me, I can't stand waiting around. You shall find me walking somewhere amongst the book amongst these bookshelves. Victor Queasley. Mr. We find Dr. Queasley somewhere in the library. Hmm. All right. Queasley. I'm gonna stop. Queasley. Is that you, Mr. Queasley? Whoa. Going all topsy turf. Whoa. -hoo. Whispering. I can't take it. Screams, though. Wake me up, Ben. Where is he? Oh Jesus, what is going on? Yeah, I hear ya. I don't wanna hear ya. I'm... I have just... Jesus, I'm in an, an MC, MC Hesher house right now, Jesus. Is this what Daniel saw? Oh, my insanity. No, I didn't need that. Oh yeah, I hear you. That was. Ugh. Just let me go. Hi. I don't like the sound of choking. Ugh. I do believe I've passed that again. Oh. What's happening? Help! Anybody? Help! Oh. Jesus. Okay. You gotta get a hold of yourself, man. Just get up. You can make it. this. Nope, we're not going that way. We've been cut off. This is no good. Oh, Mr. Queasley. Oh, Queasley. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I'm sorry, it was not Jesus. It's Queasley playing tricks on me. Mysterious potion. I could not contain myself no any longer. I have decided to start at the experiment without you. The potion next to this note is, uh, I believe, DMT solution, a substance that uh, I have discovered, which seems to unlock the psyche and produce many interesting effects. I shall have to explain in person, but for now, just take and consume the entire bottle. I shall meet you and explain everything soon. Don't worry. I believe picking up just made me just gulp it down. That's a poor choice, mate. Oh. Good morning. Rock slide in your face. Oh, good. 
We're in some sort of uh, very thin gap, and I'm crouched. And I heard a spider. I really hope I don't have to deal with that. I almost look like a body. Huh. I like the end print on that. Oh, that's a good touch. What do we got going on here? Don't mind me, I'm just making room. Hey, a note. DMT. Our, uh, so far, our tests concerning the extraction and consumption of DMT have proven to be highly conclusive. The raw chemical compound seems to be present in almost all of organic matter. Transcendently, at least, uh, we have been extracting samples from the plant to distill but we need what we need. It seems that any organic material could be used as a source to obtain this mysterious chemical. And I have even considered using the blood of rats or other small chordates as sort resource as a resource the iron co content could give blood driven derived samples unique properties however as such a large amount of material is not consumed in the in the distillation distillation process the volumes required for proper experimentation would make the use of anything other than plant matter simply impractical the subject effects of the ingested DMT, DMT are mysterious but there is a pattern in the visions. My in intuition tells me there is something very simple about the substance, which is, which I am not grasping, quite, quite grasping. Well, under the effects of the chemical, the subject feels like he he is able to interact with his self inner and manipulate his very being, his past experiences and memories, his talents, etc. I would disregard the qualitative experience as the wild fantasies of drug stupor were uh, not for the tangible real world effects. The experience almost, leave, almost leaves its mark in the person sometimes in a subtle but always in a permanent way. I myself have changed in character since the start of my experiment, but it, it is a consequence of my work and I simply, that I must simply accept. Ever since I began the journey with the DMT, my desire to understand more about the its mystic prop properties are has only increased. So the more this guy's doing it, the more he's wanting to keep doing it. And music has faded away. Okay, there it is. And hmm, scratchy scratch. What's that? I don't know what that is. I'm just leave it. So yeah, and he's saying DMT is going to. You can change yourself, like totally. Anything about yourself. What is going on? Curious Beaver, ever since I brought him into my laboratory, my colleagues have been acting most peculiarly. I, I, it was not a change I noticed immediately, but rather it seems to have developed over time. It was especially disturbing after we made our discovery concerning the origins of DMT. He often uses that the possibilities of using living flesh as an example for extraction and has even suggested drawing his own blood. Yesterday we were horrid, we had a horrid argument and his anger, and in his anger exclaimed that maybe I should be put on the table and dissected for all the DMT I've got. I have become more and more uneasy with every passing day and I decided to lock the door to the outside and hide the key. Should anything go wrong, I will attempt to escape from the emergency tunnel and collapse it behind me, trapping my increasingly unstable friend inside until I have the chance to warn the authorities. It sounds harsh, but what choice do I have? Let me guess, I have to find this key now. Key to the outside is hidden somewhere, and we're going to escape. We do find it. I hope. Where would you hide a key? Hmm. Uh, chest, obviously. Hmm. I hear you, buddy. Hear you loud and clear. Let me go in this door. 
Okay. Let me just search around real quick. I gotta find my key if it is in here. And I will find it. Believe you me. What is this stuff? I really gotta check it. Oh, it's chest tubes. Okay. Every time. Those chest tubes, they made me have to take a look at them. Oh, he did take the tunnel. That's the escape tunnel. I understand now. Okay. Hmm. Don't mind me. Who's making all that racket? Could it be a new friend? Are we going to learn a lot about the production and use of DMT? Yes. Friend or foe? Find out next time. Same Rust channel. Same Rust time.